Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today up on the bench we've got a new process, NP243. This is essentially the same as an NP241, but we have our electric shift actuator right here. Everything else is pretty much the same. So we'll get started with our 15 mil on the back, pulling our tail housing off. Get rid of that love tap here. Break it free from that silicone. Next, we'll get our uh, speedometer pickup out. That's a 26 mil. That just comes out. They're not uh, torqued and they're super, super tight. All right, the next thing will be our speedo um, tone ring housing, and that'll be a 13 mil. So this transfer case would have come out of a 1997 um, Chevrolet K1500. It was behind a 4L60, and we can tell that because of our input splines here. If we look in here on our input planetary, you can count 27 splines. And that means that it was from behind a 4L60. All the other transmissions of the era had a 32 spline. Almost forgot our snap ring right here. Test out my fancy new snap ring for this. And by fancy, I mean twelve dollars. <laughs> I've already bent them. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. Hey, that's the housing for our speedometer tow ring. And here's the speedometer tow ring itself. You can see it's just a little splined ring, and it has. Uh, a snap ring on either side there. So we'll pull that first snap ring off. We'll be able to slide our ring right off. Just like that. Okay, now this is our oil pump right here. You can kind of, once you get the case loose, you can kind of Wiggle the case out and around it. You'll see what, it, what I mean in just a second. That's all our case bolts. But we're not quite ready to split the case yet. We're gonna come around front and we're gonna pull our yoke off. That is a inch and an eighth socket. Let's slide off the yoke. And there's a washer in here as well. And you don't necessarily have to take that off beforehand, but it does help in case this wants to slide off with this outside case. So trying something new here, trying to be polite to these cases. Oh, look at that. That works way better. That was a little bracket for a wiring harness that's all mangled, so we'll probably just throw that away right now. There it splits our case. There's our case out. So now here's a good look at what the inside of this will look like when you're going to reassemble the transfer case. Now, due to these things construction, this will just slide out. This is our main shop, and so will our um, out front output shop. But you kind of got to work them together if the chain is still on them. So here's our chain drive assembly. You can see our main shaft. And our chain rides on the sprockets to the front output shaft. Might as well take our sprocket right off. Snap ring. Right? 
And here's our main shaft. Now, if we wanted to take this apart, there's a snap ring on the front here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave my main shaft assembled. But in case you were wondering, it's just that one step that we can slide out our ship fork and rail. And we'll likely come around front now and pull off the shift motor. We've got one, two, three 10 mil bolts for that. And that's our, that's our ship motor. So keep in mind the transfer case is upside down right now. But right there is the detent for the ratchet. And that's just this little guy right here. So we'll pull him off. On the opposite side of that is the four wheel drive light switch. So we'll pull that off too. Out comes the little cap. And then our spring and our actual detent. I hope that comes. Okay, so I'll bring you in to show you what I just did. So that little round pin normally sits in that groove, and that's what shifts. That's what, um, as that pin rides along that groove, as the motor moves this plate, that's what shifts and, and moves the forks in here. But all I did was I got the pry bar and I pried it out and then I slid this whole assembly backwards and out it comes. So that's our four low engagement shift fork. But next, this plate will slide out. Super easy. Now the only thing left will be our planetary set. Off that comes, that's our front output seal, and then we have a snap ring right here. Perfect, so we work that snap ring off, two taps, and out comes our six pinion planetary. With that, we've got an empty case. I'm not going to bother pulling the ring gear out. Also, our case magnet fell out, but that just slides into this half of the case. All right. Got everything cleaned around the bench here. Let's do a quick overview of the parts, shall we? We've got our case halves and their hardware. We have our 27 spline, six pinion planetary, the front seal and its hardware, the oil pump, our main shaft, chain, front output sprocket, Front output shaft, front output yoke. We have our shift motor, our shift collar, collars, and our shift ratchet. Our speed sensor, reverse, or sorry, shift ratchet detent, and four wheel drive shift light switch. We have our speed sensor pickup, or our tone ring, sorry. Better case magnet tail housing and tail housing hardware along with the housing for our speed sensor and its pickup. If you're interested in any of these parts or anything else to get your project up and underway or your daily back on the road, check out the Valorous Wrecking eBay store. The links will be up above and in the description. Thank you very much for watching.